Hi guys! I am so excited to film this video today. Hi guys, my name is Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today I am making a video about my favorite all-time YouTubers. Um, I don't know, I thought it'd just be like a fun fun way to like express my uh, love for YouTube and like all these people I love to watch. I just like really wanted to share like what I liked about these YouTubers and maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. If you have any comments, like go ahead and comment down below if you agree with me or don't agree with me. Yeah, I'm just super excited to film this video, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so my first choice, um, if you have been watching my video like ever since my first video, you probably already know who this is. I've mentioned them many times. Um, so my first choice is the Dolan Twins. They, okay, this is like a top list. It's not necessarily like ranked in order what I think, but I freaking love the Dolan Twins. Even though I still don't run my fan account that I used to have, like, I, I'm still in love with them. I still love their videos. I still love their Instagrams and, you know, I still interact with them. Like, I, I just freaking love the Dolan Twins. And here's some reasons why. First of all, they're just so funny. They're hilarious. The way that um, they make fun of each other, the way that they interact with each other. But it's just being themselves is just so funny and I love to watch that. Um, also, they're super creative in their videos. Like I've never seen them not have like some sort of creativity in their videos. This has been a struggle for them ever since they first released their first video, but they are slowly coming out of their shells as people and as YouTubers and they're starting to cuss more, they're starting to make longer videos, experiment more. I really love that about them. Yeah, and it's really like fun to watch and follow and see like, oh, what are they gonna do now, you know? H-O-T-T, -T, hot. They're just so pretty to look at. I could look at them all day. I mean, that's a reason in itself, so uh, yeah. Also, they're not afraid to be like weird. Like honestly, they're kind of like weird people, but I mean, who is it? So the fact that they like to get that on camera is like, it's, it's like respectable, you know? And they're super humble for being literally like 18 year old millionaires. It's hard to wrap your mind around it, but like you wouldn't even know because they don't express it like a lot of other people do. Like Logan Paul, um, who's the other one? Oh yeah, Jake Paul. Who else flexes? Little Tay. <laughs> she's eight, she's a fake millionaire and she still flexes more than the Dolan Twins. It's very nice they don't flex even though they're so rich and so young. They're very humble about how much money they have, who they're friends with, their family, things like that. My next YouTuber is David Dobrik. He's funny, I love to watch him. Hilarious is my first reason why he's just so funny. Like, I guess he is hilarious himself, but the vlog squad is really what makes his vlogs like so popular. But they're all hilarious. Like the sketches that they do were so funny, just like, the random stuff that happens like <laughs> it's just crazy what goes on in their lives and it, all their lives look so much fun because of the way that David portrays it and I buy into it as a viewer so honestly I think that the way that he puts together his videos are a lot funnier and like more on the edge than Liza I know a lot of people like Liza better I mean I still like Liza I think she's hilarious but I personally like David better because I don't know I just something about his videos I just get drawn to more and like it's more on your seat because you never know what's gonna happen his, he's so famous for clickbait that it's almost like did this really happen or like is it just like a way to draw us in but either way I'm so curious and the fact that he has such a big heart like he gives away cars all the time he likes to um, give a lot to Jonah's family and stuff his little brother I forgot his name it's like da Damien Donovan something like that I just think he's a great YouTuber, so do keep doing what you're doing, David. Um, okay, next on my list is Emma Chamberlain. I love her videos. They're so freaking funny. Recently, she released like a vlog type video with uh, the Gerties, which is Hannah Maloche, Ellie Thuman, and Emma Chamberlain. I think that is the first time I've ever like peed laugh. I don't even know how to explain it. It was just so funny. Why it's funny is because number one, the way that she edits her videos, hilarious. Like her little like edit notes that she adds in. Like when she zooms in, I don't know how to explain it. I do it in my videos sometimes, but she like zooms in. Also, she's not afraid to like be gross. <laughs> like, I mean, I've in my videos worn like no makeup before. Um, where I just got out of the shower and look really, really gross. But 
even then I'm like self-conscious about recording at that time. I, I feel like she would admit this, so I don't feel bad for saying this, but she kind of just looks gross and tired and like her hair is like always in a messy bun. Like she never has makeup on, but she's like, like who cares? Like she's still confident and funny in being in the way that she is. And like most people would dress up, do their hair, do their makeup. Like I do every time I film like a sit down video like this, but she's just like not afraid to, you know, not be all dressed up to record, I guess. From what I can tell from watching her videos, I think she's humble. I mean, like she obviously doesn't flex or anything. Just the way that she records with all her friends, like the fact that she is friends with the Dolan twins and like James Charles and David Dobrik, and at the same time can keep her smaller friends and like have them at the same level. I don't know, I feel like this gives her really big props for that. Obviously, David Dobrik is way more popular than um, like a, her friend from school um, or from San Francisco or something, but she still projects her friends with the same intentions, I guess. I'm, I don't know how to say this. She really keeps all her friends at a, like, a level playing field, no matter how popular they are or if they even have a YouTube channel at all. So it's just, it's really nice to like watch a video sometimes because nowadays like videos can get crazy. Like there's always a lot going on. For example, David Dobrik always has a lot going on. Uh, Dolan Twins always have like, you know, their studio, like that's a lot. Sometimes it's like, they, they put a lot together, you know, there's always a lot going on in YouTube videos now. But for Emma, she's literally just sitting in her car drinking coffee and being the funniest person on the planet. So, I, I don't know. That's like goals, honestly. Because she put the least amount of effort, but she has such a great product. <sighs> yeah, one day, one day. Um, ooh, I'm excited for this next one. Okay, so recently, he's like been a recent favorite. Like, I recently just discovered him. And I'm in love with him. His name is Dr. Mike. He's so cute. He's so cute. As in like adorable in the way that he makes his videos. He's so adorable. Obviously he's a hot doctor. He's famous on Instagram. Um, he's been on the news before, like TED Talk. He's a very accomplished man, which is like very um, inspiring. He's such a genuine person. Like he genuinely cares for people because um, he's a doctor. Like he does like responding to your comments and a lot of the times they're like medical comments and then he'll go off on just like one comment and spill his knowledge into the camera like it's amazing i really like to just like listen to him and then i would think my life like should i really be eating this so he's a very he's like the first person i've ever really intuitionally in tuned with i guess like i follow what he says and i really listen to what he says it's like ethos you know, ethos, pathos, logos, like I've, this is the first person I've really like paid attention to the ethos. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, something like that, but he's just super caring towards people. Yeah, it's just really nice to watch his videos because you can really tell that when he's filming his videos, you can really tell that he cares about people's health and cares about people's overall being, I guess, you know? Um, also, he has the cutest dog ever. Her name is Roxy. She's a husky. Yeah. Also, he lives in New York, which one day I want to live in New York. Like, my dream college is in New York. So, he just looks like he's having the time of his life in New York, you know? So, that's, like, goals for me. Yeah, I really love his videos, especially the ones about his life, because, I don't know, I just like learning about his life. Okay, so the next person is Tess Christine. She lives in New York City, and she's, like, a fashion beauty vlog travel kind of um, youtuber and um honestly those are like some of my favorite youtubers because aesthetics are everything <laughs> the way that she makes her like travel vlogs are so cool like they're very artsy very aesthetic so she lives in new york brooklyn she lives in brooklyn a best fashion i've ever seen in a youtuber like she's gorgeous she's so gorgeous just like nice like soft tan and her facial features are very pretty um her hair is very pretty like it's so some people get so lucky she and her fiance patrick they recently got engaged they are like couple goals they're so cute together they're both like super hipster and super tumblr if you can imagine tess christine is like the walking version of pinterest their apartment is super cute her fashion is super like goals super um super up to date yeah i mean everything about her like instagram everything about her everything about her relationship 
where she lives, like how she films, it's goals for me. So she's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers to watch because it just gives me a lot of inspiration, you know? So yeah. <laughs> okay, so my last YouTuber, his name is Danny Gonzalez. Some people may know him as a Viner. He used, he used to be a very big Viner. Um, but now he has a growing YouTube channel. Like, it's not as big as all these other people's. But he has a growing YouTube channel. And I freaking love his videos so much. Like, his funny is, like, a very sarcastic funny. I don't know why, but this that kind of funny is, like, what I laugh at the most. Like, I have multiple friends who are very sarcastic. And I just live. I just live for his sarcasm. It's so funny. He's not afraid to, like, call people out when they make bad media maybe i'll include a clip just because um i don't know he's literally so funny that's literally the main reason that i watch him just because he's so funny like literally all these channels except for tess christine like make me laugh and that's what i love the most so i guess that reflects in my videos like i try to make people laugh i don't think this one's gonna be that funny just because i'm like very passionate about youtube and I'm very passionate about all these uh, channels and why they're good. Okay, more about Danny. <laughs> so his videos are simple. Again, with like how Emma Chamberlain makes her videos. His videos are very simple. Like he's at his desk and he's watching. Here and there, he'll do like a little parody of what he's making fun of. So to kind of conclude, I love all these channels a lot. Like these are my top six youtube channels that i watch the most like overall all these channels make me laugh they inspire me they like entertain me which i think is like a very important aspect of youtube yeah i just love them all so much so to include my top six are the dolan twins david dobrik emma chamberlain dr mike tess christine and danny gonzalez yeah i will leave all their links below to reference um how many subs these people have let's find David, he, okay, David Dobrik has 8,159,223 subscribers. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a lot. Dolan Twins, I think they're almost at 6 mil. The Dolan Twins have 5.8 million subscribers. Who else? Emma Chamberlain, she has 3.2 million subscribers. She's my age. Like, that's crazy. She's just so funny, and her subs reflect that. Danny Gonzalez. Oh, let's look at Dr. Mike. Literally all these people are recommended for me. Dr. Mike has- Hey guys, Dr. Mike here. So Dr. Mike has 1.8 million subscribers, which is pretty good. Like almost 2 million. For his channel, which is very health oriented and almost science-y and like nerdy science. But it's cool. Like it's just hot. That's why he has so many subscribers. <laughs> but also he's a very good person. So who else? Danny Gonzalez. Danny has 633,000. He obviously doesn't have as many subscribers as um, Vine followers he used to have. Like, he used to be very, very big on Vine. I th Oh, he has a new video? Oh my god, I'm watching that right after I finish this. Um, yeah, he's hilarious. You should go check him out. Join Greg after you subscribe to me. Oh, and then the last one, Tess Christine. Uh, Tess Christine has 2.3 million. I thought she had way less than that. Yeah, she's gorgeous. You should really go check her out. She's very inspirational, very artsy, very uh, travel-esque, which is cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you agreed or disagreed, like, let me know. Let's have a conversation. Tell you why you're wrong and I'm right. I'm recently learning a lot more about YouTube and trying to um, experiment more with my videos and try and like appeal to my audience more which I'm still kind of figuring that out but hopefully like our community will be going soon and we'll just have like a strong subs you know like strong sub group I will be making more videos hopefully guys if you have any videos you want me to do or like suggestions like let me know comment down um email me if you need to my email is always in my bio follow me on instagram i recently went to new york so you should look at my new york vlog that was my last video yeah thanks guys so much for watching i'll see you next time